Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I am taking you guys through my Sunday routine. Sundays for me are for resting and recharging for the week. I talk a lot about working really hard and motivation and productivity on this channel, but equally as important is rest. So I'm taking you guys through what I do on a Sunday to recharge for the week. Coco's got some bedhead going on. Her sweater's kind of messed up. Good morning, guys. I just woke up. It is Sunday. I need chopsticks so bad. Well, actually, I've been waking up at 6.30 completely naturally, like wide awake. It's very weird. I've been up for the past hour and a half reading my book, and it's just been such a nice, relaxing morning. I'm gonna have a really- <laughs> Speaking of relaxing, it's the dogs. I'm gonna have a great Sunday. I wanna get flowers. I wanna go on a walk. I wanna just cook. It's gonna be great. These are the dogs right now. Oh, dude. Come here. Oh. Hi. You wanna call you? Oh, wow. Now you really do. Oh, hi. Hi. Oh, oh. Fitz, that's literally on Coco. You are so rude. Hug. Ugh. No, don't kiss me. Ugh. Uh, no kisses, Coco Fitz. I'm dressed for the day. I'm wearing a set active set. I like the neutral kind of white cement almost tones. My Yeezys that I have trashed and I wear them all the time. This gray zip up is Revolve. My hoops are Jennifer Fisher. <laughs> So I can't really use my downstairs as we know because we're dealing with water damage So I feel like especially at night. There's a haunted house right there. It's really unfortunate Worst things have happened. Um, hopefully it'll be done within the next two weeks But I can't really use the downstairs and it's so loud so I can't film down here. So it's very unfortunate <laughs> I'm outside drinking coffee, eating my breakfast. It's such a nice morning. We're back home. I'm about to get a little workout in. Come on, pups. Okay, little gym update reveal. I replaced the floors. They might not look that different to you. First off, this has got to be fixed. It's driving me insane. Also, I always leave my water bottles down here. Okay, great. So obviously this is gonna be more organized, but we did get rid of the boxes. That's just Dom stuff. So when Dom is here, we'll be able to finally get this like cleaned up and it's gonna be really nice. These mats are actually horse mats from Tractor Supply. A lot of you recommended it to me and my dad, this is actually what he uses for his gym floor. They're great. I'm gonna return these two. A few, oh Dom, a few things that I'm doing today. Okay, so I'm kind of organizing a little bit. And then I'm going to clean the mirrors. I just don't know which, I think I need more bins. I mean, I know I need more bins. I want it to look better than it does. And maybe it's just the cords and maybe it's just me being really critical. And also maybe it's the dresser and the stuff in the corner. It definitely is a dresser and the stuff in the corner. But even then, I don't know what I'm gonna like put here. Glass cleaner. And then I have a cord cover and a new extension cord for that TV. So it's not as ugly. So I'm gonna start with cleaning the glass up here. Trying not to let my feelings get to me Sometimes I can let them go So I fixed the mirror. Um, I did change out the cord so it does look a lot better without the big red cord. However, covering a cord is a lot harder than I thought. The one that's covered in my room 
was covered when it was mounted. So I already have someone coming over to set up a lot of other like random smart house type things for me. So I'm gonna have them cover the cord because I just honestly, no thank you. Here's the update on the garage. Um, I just, I don't know guys, like, I really love it, but I just think it can be better and I don't know if it's lighting, I don't know. I really have to keep this couch here. And I absolutely love the couch. That is the main problem. Like I wish so badly that it fit upstairs. And I understand that getting cots would probably be a smarter idea. So I could like pull those out for guests. I get that, but I don't know. I just, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I really love this couch. I don't want to get rid of it. Also, I need it for Dom anyways. So, I do like it. I just think that we're not done. Also, where do you guys think that I should put my mini fridges? Should I just keep the dresser and move it over and then put mini fridges there? Should I move the dresser over? Is that what's gonna happen? Dom, I know Dom has like a ton of clothes in here that she's selling, I'm pretty sure. So like this is not so that's gonna be staying anyways. So then she'll be able to fit the rest of her stuff in here. We will talk about this later because I'm going to declutter, but clutter just gives me so much anxiety. Like I don't want anything out of place. I want my house to be as clean as possible. So that's where we are. I'm gonna do a little mini workout, maybe like 12 through 30 or something. I'm not feeling a full workout today, but I do wanna get a little bit more movement in. So my set is set active, my fave. Also, I look a lot tanner in person, I promise. Um, and I use the Isle of Paradise tanner. I normally use the Lux Unfiltered tanner, which is my fave, but I wanted a little bit more instant color. So, we did it. Coco's down here. The dogs love coming to work out with me. Fitz just didn't care today, I guess. I got these horses. Now I got these horses. I just accidentally spilled water all over myself. So, gym update thoughts. Sorry, the lighting is horrible. Let me see if I can go with that. Gym update thoughts. So, I'm thinking I'm going to measure and get the black flooring all throughout the garage. I'm actually gonna measure this couch and see if by the grace of God it would work upstairs. I know it's not going to. Some of you said I should do lights around the mirror, like on TikTok, and I don't want it to look tacky, like with all due respect. So if there's a way to do that um, where it makes the lighting better and it looks nice, then I would consider. I've also thought about if I get rid of this couch, I might do mirrors all over there. I'm not really quite sure yet, but I think that doing the flooring all throughout the garage will make it look a lot more cohesive, even though I did get these garage floors redone, but whatever. So I think I'm gonna measure for two things, to see how big the couch is, and then to see how big my mats are. I actually did 12 through 30. I wasn't planning on doing the full thing because I'm really lazy today, but I watched a vlog and then before you knew it, I was at 25 minutes and I'm like, all right, I'm gonna finish this thing. So I feel good, I'm glad I worked out. I'm gonna go get the tape measure and we will see how many more of these mats I need. Before I shower, I'm gonna do a little cleanup. I need to declutter, clean um, the bathroom, just services, vacuum, things like that, laundry, Sunday activities. I have been wanting to declutter my nightstands um, and just make them more practical of things that I'm grabbing for all the time, like these books I just have out. I don't need to have them out. I can put them down there. So I'm gonna go through and move some of the stuff to there, make them a little bit more organized. Now I'm in the bathroom. I've been meaning to go through this just because there's way too much stuff. Also clean the products, get rid of things, clean the counters, window, mirror, all of that. The bathroom feels so much better. Look at this guys, I decluttered, I just kept the products that I reach for the most or the ones that I wanna try. Also, I've been meaning to try this for so long. I got this from Lush a while ago. Maybe I'll try it today. It's Silky Underwear Dusting Powder. I've never used dusting powder before. So. All right, I just got ready. I showered, I put on this cute little set from h and I've actually been wearing it a lot recently. It is so cozy. I did some light makeup, I just kind of felt like it. I have to carry this basket all the way down three floors to my um, 
to my laundry room. That might not seem like much to you, but it's so big. So that is a huge task for today. So my room, my bathroom feels so decluttered. It just feels so clean and I'm just ready for the week, which is something I really like to do on a Sunday. Just make sure everything's prepped so I don't even have to think about it. It also affects my mental health immensely. So I'm always cleaning, always organizing, things like that. Okay guys, watch me do my least favorite chore that I have. The other day I said, I'm not really interested in dating anyone, but I would solely for the purpose of them carrying my laundry basket downstairs for me and if they had a ranch of horses. It's just really big. It's not even really the weight. It's just the size of it is so awkward and of course, it's my fault, I wait until there's way too many clothes. Of course I do, you know? We're going downstairs. I'm so sorry for the background noise, I'm going to make lunch. This is not a deal, but Green Chef, actually I work with them on my podcast, but they sent me meals, which I'm really excited for. I love food delivery services. Oh, this looks really good. I think I'm gonna do the truffle linguine with chicken. This is what I'm gonna make. I'm gonna listen to Lynn and Stella and cook. I wish I could film more, but it is so loud and you guys are all gonna be so over me. I feel so much better just having a cleaner space besides a haunted house over here. I just made this is two meals so maybe I'll have it for dinner tonight again this isn't sponsored but I do work with them on the podcast so if you guys want a deal I'll have it on the screen from the podcast offer it is a beautiful day out so I'm going to go on a walk I'm going to Trader Joe's to get some flowers just to maybe make my space a little less depressing with the haunted house over here. Also, haven't finished my coffee, so I'm just gonna go on a cute little walk. Here's my outfit. It's nice out, so I don't need to wear a coat, but this is really just my ideal Sunday. Guys, the line for Trader Joe's is just not what I'm feeling today, but I really want flowers. So as you saw, that was a little bit of a fail, but it's honestly a blessing in disguise because I forgot I have Whole Foods gift cards. So I went on a little walk, I listened to Chandler Moore. If you haven't listened to his recent album, it's really good, but ignore my returns that I have to do back there, it's fine. So I'm going to Whole Foods, I'm gonna get some flowers, and then I might pick up some beverages and do a little beverage haul because as we know, I am basically part-time drink influencer. Nice Sunday afternoon drive when the weather is nice. Like I'm just really loving today, guys. I'm currently setting a new screensaver. Have some on the I Love You So Much podcast Instagram page. That one's cute too, they're all really cute. So if you want a screensaver, go follow. <laughs> $20 here. These are legit half at Trader Joe's. No, I think it's actually less than that. Truly really always my favorite part of the store. I love a good beverage, guys. I really treated myself. Whole Foods is so expensive, but I had a gift card. First things first. Here's my beverage haul. I'm also gonna film one for IGTV if you need to come back. It's on my Instagram. I got three better booches to try because Lauren has been telling me for the longest time that I need to try them because we both love kombucha and this is her favorite kombucha. I love Health Aid, honestly. I'm a very simple gal, but I love the branding of Better Booch. It's definitely cuter for what it's worth. This guy is staring at me. Like, I also got a Olipop vintage cola. These are basically healthy. I think prebiotic, yeah, prebiotic sodas. Sodas, so good, especially the root beer one. Really, really good. Okay, I was curious. Brew, their kombucha. This one's love, lavender, chamomile, jasmine, green tea. And then we got the Clear Mind, which, you know, I feel like I'm always needing. Oh, two more things. I got the Blue Bottle Iced Coffee. This is my favorite coffee ever, the New Orleans from Blue Bottle. 
Oh my god, guys, who remembers? I really miss those days. What I miss the most about living in LA is honestly my blue bottle order and hot Pilates. And then I have this green juice that's the size of my head. I'm going to drink some of it today, not all of it. It's tropical greens, which I tend to love anything named tropical greens. So I'm excited about this. Anyways, we're heading off. I got my flowers. We're going home. This, wow, real ones now. Okay. Just got home to my order. I made an order on Chamberlain Coffee because I love Emma and I really wanted to try it. I'm gonna go back to making cold brew from home. Obviously not this week because I just bought so many drinks. All right guys, now I'm gonna grab my green juice and grab some books. This just actually came in the mail. One of my best friends got this to me for Christmas. It's one of her favorite books and I'm so excited to read it. I thought I would share what I do for like a devotional, but I would recommend this to anyone, especially on a Sunday. I do devos like every single day. Some days are shorter than others. Like. Some days I just use this book. It's my current favorite devotional, Emotionally Healthy Spirituality Day by Day. It's a really quick read. I read it in the morning and at night, so I do it with my five minute journal that has been such a game changer. Essentially, it's like one page basically per reading, so it takes like two or three minutes, but it totally changes my day every time I do that. It's Sunday, so this afternoon I have a lot more time, so I'm gonna do a little bit more reading. I'm also going through this like Women of the Bible study that is really cool. Here's my chocolate brown Bible. Love chocolate brown, guys. I'm gonna go through and do this. If you guys are ever interested in more of my faith content i have the living room which is like basically an overall brand but there is a patreon under it that has all the content so i have videos bible studies podcasts if you guys are into that i will have it linked down below but definitely subscribe you guys will get so much content also just follow the instagram so anyways i'm gonna go through and do some of this it just feels so good in my room i might even open the door to my balcony i'm just having like the best sunday ever guys I just want to let you know how refreshed I already feel. It's only like 4 p.m. on a Sunday and I just had the best day. I think rest is one of the most important things when it comes to like being productive and being efficient. Without rest, you basically just burn out. Also, not good for your mental health. You can't produce as good of work. I can go on and on. I actually have an entire episode up about anti-hustle culture. If you guys want to listen on my podcast, go check it out. Also, this juice is actually so good. I'm going to go take a nice relaxing bath listen to a sermon and then put on my really comfy pajamas let me show you my faves my current favorite pajamas fun fact i wear matching pajamas set to bed every single night i love them i probably have like 20 or 30 pairs and i always need more you know what i have found is that these from j crew i have these in two colors are the best ones i love the material they're so soft so cozy love them i'll have them linked down below but i much prefer these over even like over more of the like linen-y ones because those just dry really weird and like I'm not gonna iron my pajamas, you know what I mean? I'm out of the bath, it was so relaxing. I'm in my pajamas, it's currently 5.19. I am just going through this week's to-do list and I'm gonna do a little bit of computer stuff today. I try to not work on weekends, but it does make me feel a little bit better if I have my to-do list and everything prepped. I'm also recording tomorrow, which I normally don't, so I need to go over the episode, make sure everything's set, send over the Zoom links and stuff. I'm doing just a few emails and these are the dogs with me. Oh my gosh, in here. They're always with me. All right guys, this is what I'm wearing. I was just on my laptop doing a little bit of work for like 45 minutes to an hour. I've done this before, I feel like my workload has just been higher lately and I just needed to get some stuff done, more so planning for the week um, and it relieves so much anxiety from me. We're going downstairs now to make some dinner. I'm just gonna heat up the pasta I made before. And I go take the dogs out. 
So as we know, I'm a big beverage gal. Every night, I honestly take like two or three up to my room um, for my nighttime routine. The first one that you guys saw is my recess drink. These are hemp drinks. They really help me relax and calm down. And then of course, liquid IV, my sleep drink. I love both of these. Um, I do a quick little cleanup as well before I go upstairs for the night. I'm a homebody and love my night routine. I have an entire night routine video if you guys want to see it. I've been thinking about filming like my one hour bedtime routine. I saw it on TikTok and I thought it could be fun. Sorry for the black lines, but I just make sure my room is very calm, very zen. Normally this is when the dogs bark. I go through, I do my five minute journal. I do my nighttime portion of my Devo. I journal a little bit and then I get to reading. So Fitz has clearly made himself comfortable for the night. We're in bed. Hi, dude. Hi. Hi, sweetie. Oh my gosh. I just love these dogs. So this is when I read, and I'll probably read for the next few hours. If you guys ever need book racks, be sure to follow me on Instagram. I have an entire highlight. I'm constantly talking about them there. All right, guys, that is the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. These lines on the screen are really bothering me. I'm just going to read for the next few hours and then hopefully have the best week. But I love you guys so much. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, be sure to subscribe if you guys haven't already. Check me out on Instagram, TikTok, podcast, all that stuff. I love you guys so much, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. So I first started on social on YouTube in 2012. So it's almost been nine years now since I uploaded my first video. And looking back now, I had no idea what I was doing, but I actually still use a lot of the products that I was using then.